When a carrier-based aircraft lands on an aircraft carrier, why doesn't it slow down but instead goes full throttle? Since the flight deck of an aircraft carrier is usually less than 300 meters long, a carrier aircraft traveling at 260 kilometers per hour must rely on its tail hook catching the arresting cables on deck to stop. However, due to complex sea conditions, even under favorable circumstances, the success rate of hooking the cable is only about 70%. If the aircraft fails to catch the cable and its engines are not already at full power, it won't have enough kinetic energy to accelerate back to takeoff speed within the remaining deck space, which would result in it plunging into the sea. That's why pilots push the throttle to maximum just before touching down, so they can immediately take off again if the cable catch fails. If the cable catch succeeds, the arresting system's hydraulic or electromagnetic brakes can generate more than 100 tons of force within two to three seconds, easily overpowering the engine thrust. This combination, throttled to full power as a backup, and the arresting gear as the primary stop, provides a dual safety guarantee for carrier aircraft landings.